In fact, an organizer tells us of 118 graduates, 90 showed up to this alternative commencement. Hi. Commencement on our terms. That's the name of this ceremony for New College of Florida grads. Thank you. But this isn't the college's official graduation ceremony. Instead, it's organized and hosted by students who feel their Sarasota Liberal Arts College is no longer the school they first enrolled in. Stop infringing on people's rights. New College has been the site of a conservative takeover championed by Governor Ron DeSantis. Earlier this year, he replaced members of the college's board of trustees with conservative allies. The board fired the school's president and scrapped its diversity office. I would love for this to be, and I think it will be, uh, the top classical liberal arts college in America. Just this week, the governor and the school's new leaders celebrated the college's future, which they believe will set more students up for successful careers. We are on the verge of having the largest incoming class ever in the history of New College in just 90 days. This is how fascism moves into a country. But Fran Hamilton says the sudden takeover is a gross infringement and has been demoralizing to her daughter, a new college graduating senior. Every day, every day, do we have crying? Do we have sadness? Do we have fear? This is the, this is the world I'm going into. Those some here are ready to graduate and even plan to leave the state. They say they still have an obligation to fight for new college fight for their identities, fight for their classmates who have yet to graduate. I think an event like this shows the state, shows New College that its students are willing to fight for what we believe in.